We love living in Florida. The climate is subtropical and beautiful, but sometimes it gets really cold. We get freezes and frost. And when we talk about freezes and frost, we need to protect the three P's, pipes, pets, and our plants. And I wanna give you some tips on how to protect your plants through freezes. When we're talking about freezes in Florida, what we're referring to is when temperatures go below 32 degrees. And when that happens, you do wanna bring your tropicals in and protect them. A hard freeze is when we're gonna be below 28 degrees for more than four or five hours. And that's when we really need to protect everything else. So if you can bring it inside for a freeze, go ahead and do it. One of the tips that I like to share with people is for your tender tropicals, it's a great idea to go ahead and keep them all together. I like to put them in a laundry basket or another container so when I hear that there's a freeze warning, I can just pick them up and head on inside and keep them protected. Here in Florida, we have two different kinds of freezes. You can either have a radiant freeze or an advective freeze. A radiant freeze happens on a calm, cold night that's cloudless, and the heat is lost from the soil and from the earth. Now, an advective freeze happens when we have a mass of windy, cold air come through. So those are our two different types of freezes. It really doesn't matter because you need to cover your plants for both of them. I really recommend using a good cloth frost cloth that you can purchase from any retail garden center. We don't insulate or go ahead and cover with plastic because it's a poor insulator of heat. You want to make sure that your frost cloths reach all the way down to the ground and you anchor them with rocks or bricks so it doesn't blow away and that's very important for an advective freeze. If you can get your frost cloths all the way to the ground and completely cover your plants, they're going to get through that freeze just fine. Now in the morning, when the temperatures go up, when we go over 32 degrees, it's time to take those frost cloths off. If you leave them on for too long and the hot sun starts baking on them, you can actually burn your plants. So you wanna cover correctly and you also wanna remove those cloths correctly as well. You may have freeze or frost damaged plants in your landscape, but please resist the urge to prune them back until we warm up in the spring. Little known fact, some of those dead stems and leaves actually help to insulate the root ball throughout the rest of the winter. So we wanna hold off on pruning until it warms up and we're ready to get growing again for spring. For more information about recovering from freeze and frost damage, be sure to visit your local county extension office or visit us online at Gardening Solutions.